So on this 100th episode of Afterwork Special, I am going to make something that I've wanted to make ever since I got this machine. So here we have this fine piece of unknown plastic, I want to call it high density polyethylene. We'll go with that, I'm not sure. But we're going to cut this into what you probably already know is a tool holder. First thing I want to do is go here and face this, get this, it's supposed to be 3 inches, it's okay if it's not. And then after that, I should be good to put in the vise and mill everything out. Sound good? Zeroed out the bottom height, shear hogs in there. It's set right at three inches where we want it. So it'll be three inches up from the bottom. And I'm just gonna manual this thing around because that seems like it could be the easiest way. So I was going to use this super fly right here, this facing mill, to face the part, but I'm running out of room. See my, oh you can't see it, that line right there is the edge. So it's like right here. So I can't get this way out here to face it, so I'm going to have to use the shear hog. So this is exciting. I've been I've been putting everything on my toolbox whenever I'm doing a job, and I would just set them down like this, and then they end up roll, rolling all over the place. So this is going to be awesome to have this. I only had room for five tools. I couldn't. I wanted to make sure I could fit drills in here, and I couldn't go any bigger than this because the machine wouldn't let me. So that wasn't a very exciting hundredth episode, but I'm going to have a change of pace coming up after this episode. But uh, yeah, this was an exciting project. wasn't really much to it. Designed it up in maybe 10 minutes, canned it in another 10 minutes, not too bad. Mm -hmm.